After a rocket launches to space, its boosters are separated before returning back to Earth for later use. Today's video is on the top 5 rocket booster re-entries and recoveries. SpaceX is one of the only companies that actually lands their boosters back on Earth. And so at number 5, we have a time-lapse video that shows the whole descent process of the Falcon 9 booster. Number 4. A solid rocket booster re-enters the atmosphere and splashes down in the Atlantic Ocean. We can see the whole final descent process here, including the re-entry burns and the parachutes deploying. Number 3. An onboard camera gives us a point of view perspective of a rocket booster's round trip. First, it takes off from a launch pad in Florida and is later decoupled in space before it returns back to Earth. Number 2. SpaceX lands two rocket boosters simultaneously after a Falcon Heavy rocket launch. 
rocket technology sure has come a long way in the past several years. And finally, number one, NASA recovers a solid rocket booster from the Atlantic Ocean following a space shuttle launch. Um, one thing is in your uh, pre-sleep config, page 3-4, step 6, uh, lists a few things to check the power off on. For your TV monitor power control unit, we would like you to leave that on overnight. I'll copy. Okay, leave on the uh, TV power control unit. Uh, we've got a note here that says, and in command. I think this video gives a really interesting perspective of how rocket boosters used to get recovered. In the early 2000s, they didn't have the technology to land boosters like SpaceX does today. And so instead, they use a recovery ship to recover the booster from the ocean. The booster later gets transported to a base in Utah, where it gets refurbished.
If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my previous upload on spacewalks. And in the meantime, be sure to subscribe for more.